so uh, in first lecture we have gone through a uh, uh, few basic facts about the morphology of the plant a uh, few steps a uh, general structure of the plant right uh, this was the main diagram showing the parts of the flowering plant that is a uh, root system growing under the soil and a shoot system which is growing above the soil the shoot system which is consisting main branch called stem which is actually dividing to form new branches various branches consisting leaves buds and flowers so that was the last discussion what we have made we also have gone through various parts of shoot system and root system so those are called as vegetative parts shoot and root system now a specialized structure which is responsible for uh, uh, sexual mode of reproduction in plant is called reproductive parts that is flower fruit and seeds now these portion we are going to see into uh next lecture uh sorry not like, like uh, next lecture but in next chapter that is chapter number 6 in this chapter we are going through the root system and various parts of uh, the shoot system so we were talking firstly about the root system we have gone through the introduction of root right uh, what is root and uh, we also have gone through the region of the root that is root tip we have gone through a uh, region of maturity region of elongation and region of meristematic activity so in this <clears throat> successive lecture we are going through the types of roots so our today's discussion is going to be started with the type of roots now there are three basic type of roots in which the first one is tap root system now what is tap root system na ma lecture chalu thai gyo hai when a root is sahadev sri rathod please mute yourself thank you all the students are requested to put yourself in mute if you are joining as and when you are joining right so that can uh, be no disturb and atmosphere for anyway so we were discussing about uh, the tap root system now if you see any of uh, the seed for example uh, seed which is uh, for example the groundnut apni sadi makphadi in short if you open it the open the cover of the seed if you observe there are two parts of it both of them are known as cotyledon those are the parts which are storing the food excessive food and at the joining part of two cotyledon you have one triangular shape embryo and that embryo is consisting two bud like structure one part is radical one part is plumul radical is responsible for the growth of the root system and plumul is a part <coughs> which actually uh, forms the shoot system now root system is elongation as and when the embryo 
gets water and starts the growth so in most of the dicotyledonous plant what we have observed just now dicotyledonous cotyledon number 1 and cotyledon number 2 so you have two cotyledons that is why it is known as the dicotyledonous plant so in most of the dicotyledonous plant the direct elongation of radical right so radical as i have uh, stated earlier that it is giving rise to the root system so elongation of radical gives rise to formation of primary root so primary root will be formed from here like this then later on the branches will be growing into that and these type of root system is known as so this type of root system is known as tap root system point to be noted and remember is your primary root is getting started and grown from radical and that primary root will start growing secondary root tertiary root quaternary root if it is growing for the longer period of the time so this kind of system is known as the <coughs> tap root system which consists primary secondary tertiary roots primary roots are thicker secondary is thinner than the primary tertiary and quaternary successively are becoming thinner and thinner fine so this is the first type of root it is called tap root system please take the screenshot of your uh, slide now if you see this is actual photograph of tap root system and here is the diagrammatical representation of primary root system in primary root system you generally find three types of roots first one is the primary roots it is grown from radical it is growing from radical it is called primary roots now secondary root is the second type of root so if you see into the uh, representation diagrammatical representation which is given here the middle portion which is thicker one the thickest part of the root system which is growing from radical it is known as the primary root system now if i talk about the secondary root system primary root system makes its own branches right so it is arising from primary root system so whatsoever root branches are grown from primary root it is called secondary root and third tertiary root it is actually elongating or sub branches of the secondary so it is grown from secondary roots so this is how you are supposed to remember so if i talk about the secondary root it is a branch of the primary and if you see here the tertiary one it is branch of the secondary root so primary secondary and tertiary these are the three main roots which are found okay please take the uh, screenshot of this slide <clears throat> so 
So here is the example which is given the mustard plant rye jena padkeya right mustard plant is the example of uh, this kind of root system so primary roots and its branches so primary root that is root number 1 and its branches that is secondary and tertiary collectively forms the primary root system and the mustard is the example of most of cotyledonous plant dicotyledonous plant right and they are with this kind of uh, this type of the primary root system ready fine so uh the type root system or primary root system is the first type of the roots and second type of root is fibrous roots now if i am talking about fibrous roots the name itself tells this story the root which grows like very thin fibers it is called fibrous roots now the thing is that how can i differentiate between tape root and fibrous roots ready so let us compare both of them first then we are going through the fibrous root system here is the comparison right in this diagram you comparison between two various types of roots tape root and fibrous root now first if i talk about the tape root system right if i talk about the tape root primary root is thicker or thickest and only tertiary or quaternary is thinner so from thickest to thinnest branches and some sub branches which are growing they are getting distributed so it is started with the thin part and grows into the thicker one if i talk about the primary root again secondary it is growing like a thin thread but as time passes it is growing more and more thicker so this way it actually holds the uh, the soil particles such a way that it it can withstand the huge structure of large plants in general so it is a specialized adaptation to withstand or to hold the huge trees or large plants so that adaptation is generally seen in the dicotyledonous or dicot plants which are growing most of them are growing large by size they are growing uh, uh, with a large size because they are not short lived plant they are long lived plant they live for years and years and as we know that plants are growing lifelong and that is why the plants are growing first with the length and later on into the secondary growth primary growth is the growth in length and secondary growth is length stops 
and width is getting growing there. So width is increasing into the secondary growth. So secondary growth continues lifelong actually. So in that, the plants are growing by its size into the width as they are getting more and more number of the leaf. So a rate of photosynthesis increasing, rate of the food which is getting synthesized is increasing and for storing that food, they are growing lifelong. This is the reason why they are growing lifelong. You are supposed to know this answer. Ready? So to hold those entire structure for years and years, they requires the thick roots or system which is made by thicker root system. That is why this tap root system is important. Fine. Now, if you compare the monocotyledonous plant with respect to it, their size and age, they are short-lived or short-living. They are comparatively smaller plant. So they are small in size. So to hold them on the soil, they do not require that strong root system. Ready? So as and when primary root system grows for the first time, it will be denaturing itself, degrade itself after short period of time. And at the base of the stem, here, if you see into the diagram, at the base of the stem, they grow so many thread-like roots. Right? So there are so many roots. And that is why it is called fibrous root system. Right? It loss, it is loss, uh, it is losing the primary root. And then after they grow the fibrous root system. Now, why these adaptation came into existence, right? If I'm talking about fibrous root system, generally they are found in monocotyledonous plants. Now, if you compare or if you remember the various examples monocotyledonous plants, Generally, they are uh, the grain which are uh, growing into the field. For example, if I talk about wheat, if I talk about the, uh, the rice. So these kind of grains, for example, uh, the maize. So they are short-lived. Their life cycle is nearly three to four months. Even after you do not get them out of the field, they will die automatically. Right? They will become dry and shed of themselves after their uh, life cycle ends. So this is proof that they are short-living plant or short-lived plant. And if you compare the size of the stem, size of the leaf, number of leaf, total height of the plant, they are comparatively smaller plant than the huge trees. They have very short period of the time as their life cycle. Now, though they have very short period of the uh, life cycle, they are important in the ecosystem with reference to production of food. They are meant, they are adapted for producing the huge quantity of the food. Right? Smaller the plant, 
but higher the productivity of the food and this is the aim of the nature why they have created these or adopted these monocotyledonous plant it was a time on the earth where so many animals type of the animals were grow, started growing into the ocean first for example fishes then few types of the adaptation have seen and have formed few animals which can grow on the land as well for example amphibians but they are partly living inside the water and they are partly living on the land then comes the other type of advancedly adapted animals which can be completely living on the earth called reptiles so they were the first animals higher animals i mean vertebrates which are found living on the earth on the land sorry now for for the adaptation they have eggs which are covering with the calcium carbonate layer and they also have the adaptation to live on the land that they can eat the other animal so they were carnivorous primarily they were carnivorous now the time when they grow there was no other higher grade animal on the land at that time and they have grown so huge into the number on the earth so it was the reptile world at that time then emerged the uh, the birds and the mammals at the time but they were not so impressively spreaded because of the presence of the huge sized reptiles core uh, the dinosaurs when dinosaurs ended their life on the earth then comes the evolution of the birds and mammals right now as and when birds and birds and uh, reptiles have started their re establishment on the earth after the dinosaurs uh, uh, era is ended they have started to live uh, on other animals as well and on the plants as well to reduce the competition for the food so new branches of the mammals have been arised uh, called the uh, grazers were eating the plants so as and when they have started to uh, started to graze they at that time it was only dicot plants on the earth no monocot so as time passes they have increased their number so it has put huge load on dicotyledonous so in order to survive dicotyledonous plants have evolved the monocotyledonous plant to produce huge quantity of the food and this is the history of evolution of monocotyledonous plant and that is how they are short lived and hugely productive now in order to produce huge quantity of food they are supposed to uh supposed to have more quantity of the photosynthesis process so they are adapted for more photosynthesis they are adapted to store the food that is why the grains are hugely uh, uh found into the into the fruits right so they have so many uh, uh seeds they are uh, which are which, which they produce and this is the basic aim of uh, production and for photosynthesis if they are doing more number of the uh, photosynthetic uh, process they requires huge quantity of the water for that and in order to absorb water into the huge quantity they have the fibrous root system so this is why the fibrous root system is uh, seen so it is the history it is the reason why the fibrous uh, fibrous root system have been evolved i hope you are clear with the facts which are given right please take the screenshot of the slide have you taken give me the confirmation please 
Yes, sir. Okay, so that I can erase this. Okay, I also uh, put this uh, uh, slides and uh, fine. Okay, the third root system is uh, the elements roots. Okay? Uh, second root uh, fibrous root system. Let me talk about this first, then we are in the next slide. Okay, the fibrous root system which are left. Uh, while I was comparing first to the rest of them. Okay, the fibrous root system. Now, generally in monocot plants, the primary root is short-lived. Ready? And it will be replaced by large number of root. I must quote it is fibrous roots right now the, these roots origin so originate from the base of the stem as i have uh, depicted on the uh, the diagram which was given there right uh, and for example any of the grain plant maybe wheat maybe rice or maize as well so this is a story of the <clears throat> fibrous root system which are formed generally into the monocot plant so please take the screenshot Okay, the third one is the fibrous root system. Fine. Okay. The third type of the root is adventitious root. Now, the meaning of adventitious is that if root is grown from the part which is not its real origin. Right? It is called adventitious root. So here root is not grown from its original part or real part. So which is the real part? Which is the original part? It is radical, as we have seen earlier into this lecture. So it is not grown from the radical. It is grown from other than radical. Maybe leaf, maybe stem, or the other node or internodal regions. So if the root is not grown from radical, it is called adventitious root. They are generally found in grasses, monstera plants, bunion trees, etc. So this is the third specialized plant, uh, sorry, uh, types of the root, which is found into the plants. So adventitious word is very important for us as far as the adaptation is concerned. Few plants are adapted for special kind of conditions where adventitious roots are supporting their life into that variety of the conditions. Ready? So these are adaptive mechanism of the root system, what you are supposed to remember. Uh, please take the screenshot. 
if you see into the diagram the adventitious root which is shown here the first example which is seen is adventitious root which is grown from stem basal part of the stem right here in the first diagram in the second picture if you see they have grown from node of the stem they are found from nodes of the stem so this is how they are grown from the part which is not its origin that is radical now the chief or main function or general functions of root system ready it is the general functions of the root system which is found into almost all root systems the first one is absorption it is the primary function i repeat it is the primary function of the root for which it is getting evolved absorption of the water and minerals ions or uh, or the salts from the soil now the second function it is encourager it is holding the plant tightly with the soil so that plant can sustain the for longer period of time on the earth so provides anchoring to the plant and give them a mechanical support so that the growth of the plant which is life long possible with the uh, with that mechanical support now comes the third important common function of root system is a storage now the storage of food material is not chief function of each and every plant ha huh. in minimum quantity they are found in almost all plants right but some of the plants they are into the large quantity so in large quantity food is stored into some plants so in minimum quantity it is a, a, a general a function of the root system but if i talk about large quantity it is a specialized function for example carrot and radish they are storing excessive food in their root so their root becomes thicker and fleshy so this is a specialized function of storing the reserve food material so reserve food material storing is a specific or specialized function of some roots only otherwise in little quantity almost all roots can store the food now function number 4 is synthesis plant growth regulator pgr in the uh, short form now what is this pgr the word which is used there is growth regulator now a very common word into the animal uh the hormone if you have heard these chemicals this pgr they are plant hormones they are also called plant hormones <clears throat> now hormone word is used with 
with specific uh, terms and condition. For example, they must be produced by endocrine glands and they straightway release themselves into the blood and through the blood they are getting circulated. Those chemicals are only termed as the hormones. Here, there is no gland into the plant, there is no blood into the plant and there is no blood circulation into the plant. So terminology named or termed as hormone cannot be utilized for that. And that is why they are using the term growth regulators instead of plant hormones. Ready? So plant growth hormone is equal to plant hormone, but hormone word is actually not legible to the uh, to the plant system. So they synthesize huge quantity of the hormones into the plants. And this is the uh, four main functions which are found with the plants. So please, uh, plant roots, take the screenshot so that you can make your own notes as well. Just a moment. Okay, please take the screenshot now. But till now, 